Hi. Let's get this party started. Here we are, top of the mat. Inhale, two hands up, reach up, look up, tap your shoulder blades. And arms to your sides, fingers interlaced behind your back, arms straight, palms lift. One foot slightly ahead of the other on little baby railroad tracks. Lengthen back heel through the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Belly button towards your big toe. Rise up. Feet step together. Inhale, two hands up. Reach up, look up, tap. Exhale, arms to your sides. Other foot slightly ahead of you. Of the, the other foot, yeah, one foot slightly, the other foot in the front. Lengthen back, heel through the top, and fold forward. Exhale, fold. Rise up. And two hands to the top. All right. Okay. Come to the wall, feet are one of your own feet away from the wall, fist between your big toes. Bring your booty to the wall, lift five toes up on each foot, place your heels behind your fourth toe, lift up all your toes, spread them wide, and press down ten buttons. Find your secret corners. Push down through your secret corners and press your booty back into the wall. Outer sides of the booty. Outer sides of the foot. Down, back, heart lifts. Belly button down. Hinge forward. Make sure your ribs are firmly in front of your hips. All right, here we go. Interlace your fingers and palms up. Arms in line with ears. Ribs in front of hips. Exhale, your hands to neutral. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, hands to neutral. Press down through secret corners. Back through outer booty. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, hands to neutral. Flow with your breath. two hands up, reach up, look up, tap your shoulder blades, blades behind you, and then arms to your sides, begin to externally rotate your legs in order to drop in between them, hands towards the earth, big toes pushing down buttons. So this is kind of a half squat, definitely still a hinge, knees very, very bent, big toes pushing down buttons. Let your head release a little yes and no. Then you can walk your hands over to one side. Back to the middle. Over to the other side. Press down through two secret corners. Press back through two sides of your outer feet. Back to the middle. Okay, rising up. All right, one hand reaches forward, elbow back. All right, exhale through the center, inhale, reach for the center line, elbow behind you. Flowing with your breath, exhaling to neutral, inhale, reach. Exhale, neutral. 
Inhale, reach. Flow with your breath. Press down through secret corners, back through outer booty. hinging forward again. You can externally rotate your legs in order to be able to begin to drop forward in between them, pressing into secret corners so that you lift your booty up on the ground, on the, on the wall. Hands can walk to one side and then back to the middle and over to the other side. In the middle. All right, rising up, flat back, booty on the wall. All right, here we go. Right arm extends out, left hand. All right, remember to set up secret corners, set up booty back, set up ribs in front of hips. Right arm extends out directly from the shoulder. The left hand pulls the arrow back. Inhale, pull. Exhale to neutral center. Now, other direction. Extend your left arm. Inhale, draw the arrow back. Flow with your own breath. Exhale, neutral. Inhale, opposite. Lesson key of the tropical breeze. down through secret corners, still with your knees very soft. I said mat, I meant wall. 
Press down through your secret corners and lift up through your booty, keeping your knees bent. Okay, here we go. We're all hissing up. Flat back, arms to the sides. Palms forward, thumbs out. Ribs in front of your hips. So you're hinging forward on the wall. And belly, heart, face to the left. Press down, press to the side. Exhale, neutral. Inhale, belly, heart, face. Exhale. up, look up, tap your shoulder blades, and then arms to your sides, hinging forward, arms walk over to one side, press down, press back, back through the center, press down, press back, other side, you know what to do, back to the middle, Arms to your sides, rise up, flat back. Make fists. Bring your elbows back, fists up high on your ribs. Now, one punch to the center, imaginary person hinging forward just like you, right into the center of their mass. Exhale, neutral. Inhale, opposite. Make sure your shoulders are moving. Exhale, center. Inhale, to your low back. Trace the outside back of your leg as you fold forward and inhale, lift each toe with a finger. Exhale, inside front leg, trace to rise. Inhale, heart lifts, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift toes. Exhale, inside front leg, rise. Inhale, flat back, heart lifts. Exhale, fold. Your own breath.
come onto our bellies. Ground your forehead and start to walk your big toes down away from the crown of your head. Pinky toes down away from the crown of your head. Bring your big toes towards each other, heels to the outside. And then bring your ribs a little bit further forward on the mat. Pull the mat towards you as you press down into the outside of the legs. And so that you get that ribs forward feeling. Okay. Now, lifting your hip points up off the mat just enough so that imaginary Mattel car could come through. All right, so you're pressing down through the tops of your feet, especially the outside part of your feet, the secret corner on the top. Your booty has this lifted feeling, which is activation more than actually lifting. And there is a sense of a back bend. There is a sense of a back bend. Okay, all right, so don't lose that. Like, uh, I may not say it over and over, all those things, but that pressing your thighs down, pressing through your ribs, but keeping your hip points off the mat is something you want to keep doing. Arms to the outside like wind. I don't know why these, these ear pop, I hope they, the recording is good. I don't, I don't trust this left one in my ear because it always falls out. Okay, here we go. Arms to the side, baby circles, little circles. Press to the tops of your feet, lift your hips, start forward, eyeballs forward. All right, circles back. All right, arms forward, wiggle walk your fingers, ground your forehead. Bring your thumbs to the back of your neck and take a couple breaths here. Shoulder blades back towards your sit bones. Make it active, hip points lifting. for a moment and then extend your left arm out like a wing directly out of your shoulder palm down right hand underneath your right shoulder roll onto your left side lift your left knee up and ground your foot behind your left leg so here for a breath if you have other variations of this pose, take them. Just make sure that left hand is really grabbing the ground. Let your head rest down on the mat. Now you're going to roll over to the other side. Right arm is the wing. Left knee lifts up. Left foot behind the right leg. Any variations you might want to feel. spot. Two arms forward. 
Okay, pressing into the tops of your feet. Here we go. Lift the hip points again. Okay. Eyeballs forward, shoulders back. Right hand forward, left elbow towards your left hip, keeping the secret corner part of the top of your foot. Pressing down to the mat. Exhale, neutral. Inhale, left hand reaches forward to the center. Make sure the shoulders are shifting too. Elbow to your hip, left hand forward. Exhale, neutral. Inhale, opposite. Your own breath. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under. And now we're working toward the downward facing dog. Try to keep your booty as the highest place. Walk out the backs of your legs. Lots of breath. Right hand underneath your left armpit, spider your fingers over and bring your weight down onto your outer shoulder. Left hand to the sky, look up. One palm presses down, other palm reaches up, fingers reach up. Press down, reach your fingers. hand underneath your right armpit. Grab the mat, draw it towards you. Open your outer shoulder. Reach your right hand to the sky, five fingers press down, five fingers reach up. Find the center hips to your heels for a few breaths.
hands a little closer to your knees and move your big toes in towards each other, heels pretty far away from each other. So reach behind you, really work your heels away from each other so that your booty fits between them. All right, and hands forward, hands in front. All right, start to press into your outer foot in order to bring your heart forward. Outer foot, outer leg working. comes forward between your hands. All right, here we go. Bring your booty to the right and back and wrap this leg under. Eyeball, right eyeball on top of your right secret corner. You're pressing down into your front secret corner and your big toe. You're pressing into your back secret corner. Press your front secret corner forward, back secret corner, back left hand roots, right hand rises. Two hands to the earth, front foot meets the back foot, hips to your heels for a breath. Heels away from each other. Big toes touching. Hands about a foot in front of your knees. Press into your outer feet heart forward. So this time, bring yourself really far forward with your feet. Okay, and now let's do, instead of heels close, hips close to your heels, let's do a place right up here where you're just working one inch kind of at the front of your balance instead of the back of your balance. Remember the outer foot presses down, heart forward, shoulders back, belly down. But make sure that it's strong here in the ribs, not rib flaring. Remember the sense of squatting back into externally rotated thighs. Pressing forward, heels out. Heels stay out for coming back. It's just that you allow that space between your thighs to grow so you can be there. Okay, incrementally, hips to heels. So at first, it's just one inch forward and it feels like press through your fingers, hasta banda, and then back two inches. Inhale, forward, back two and a half inches. Inhale, forward, back three inches. That's what I mean. Inhale, forward, exhale, back three and a half inches. So each time you go back, you go a little further, hips to your heels. So we're feeling a little bit more control in the rockers. Heels out, heart forward, thighs externally rotate, hips back. split leg pose. Left foot forward. All right. And left eyeball on top of your left secret corner. Booty to the left. And hip is back and down and wrapping around. Don't forget this big toe. Press through one secret corner forward, other secret corner back. Right hand roots, left hand rises.
unwind. Front foot meets the back foot. All right, here we go. Um, oh yeah, hips to your heels. All right, this time tucking toes under. You know what to do, big toes touching, heels away from each other. So we're gonna be working up the wall. We're gonna be working on our, our uh, squat, squat flow here. So um, you know your heels are gonna end up about one of your own feet away from the wall. So if you've adjusted away from your wall, you might want to head back towards it. Or if you've adjusted too close to the wall, you might want to head back away from it. Okay, but your toes are tucked under. So when you bring your hands towards your knees, now I want you to lift your knees first up inside your arms and then move them to the outside of your arms. And then I want you to drive through your secret corners to bring your booty towards the wall Big toes pushing down the buttons. Now lift your booty up the wall. Here is your hinge. Take a moment here. Releasing your whole spine. You can do like a jiggly jiggle. All right, hands to your heart, rising up. I need a drink of water. Make your knees point 22 degrees outside of your secret corner. All right, inhale, knees forward, exhale, knees out. Inhale, knees forward, exhale, knees out. All right, baby squats, two inch squats, butt on the wall, outer booty pressing back, secret corners working, Big toes like kickstands. What about the second toe? What if you had two kickstands, a big toe and a second toe? Can you press them both down independently but together?
two hands to the earth, two knees to the earth. Hips to your heels. Balasana. I got about 10, 15 minutes. Two hands to the earth, two knees to the earth, hips to your heels, lots of breath. towards each other now to the outside keeping your heels away from each other and then press your booty back towards the wall and rise up flat back and back to standing externally rotate your legs and drop in between two bows lift your heels knees to the inside knees to the earth Okay, here we go. Toes are tucked under, heels to the outside. Here are your child rockers. So press into your outer foot, heart forward. First, your booty is all the way back towards your heels and you find two inches. Press outer legs, externally rotating your thighs as you bring your hips back towards your heels, heart forward belly down, front ribs strong, long line, tailbone, crown of your head. Okay, now here it is. Walk your hands forward just a little bit more and find the other end of the strength, balance, flexibility. Okay, here it is and sit back one inch and then press into outer legs to go to the front of the flexibility there. Externally rotating your legs to sit back, pressing into the secret corners to go forward. First, you just play with that one inch. Make the one inch bigger. It's two inches now if you sit back. Gradually increasing the range of that flexibility, the ease of mobility. Remember there's one or two, maybe three fist between your knees, no more. Until you slowly are moving your booty back towards your heels again. And 
Bend hips to your heels. Any variation. Rest, breath. Cross your ankles, come to your seat. Left leg extends out. Point your belly button at your big toe. Spread your toes wide. Square your shoulder up with the ball of your foot. Press down evenly through two thighs. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, belly towards your big toe. Left hand on your knee bone, press down through two thighs, lengthen through the top, belly, heart, face looks over your shoulder. Unwind. Belly the other direction. All right, bring your left leg behind you then. over both shoulders. Lengthen through the top. Fold forward. Extends out. Left foot on the inside of your right leg. Point your belly button at your big toe. Lengthen through the top. through the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen.
rise up. Left hand behind you, right hand on your knee, bone lengthen, two thighs pressing down. Belly, heart, face looks over your shoulder. the other direction. Alright, here's your right leg. Bring it behind you. Bent. Peek over both shoulders. Lengthen through the top. Legs up the wall. Or some variation upside down that you choose. Bring your hands to your sides, your thumbs out, palms up. Lots of breath here. All right, get away from the wall enough so that you can Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees open, fingers interlace, palms to the back wall, shoulders away from ears, lots of breath.
All right. Here's the part where you check in with yourself about what else you need. My body wants um, some downward facing dog variations with the pinch of my Rasana arms. Um, so I'm gonna talk through that, but do whatever you want and including maybe with straight arms, Hasta Banda, uh, downward facing dog. Um, this is gonna be a really nice release because I've been carrying around a heavy backpack and a scuba tanks and my shoulders are very tight. And so here I am with my hands about as wide as my elbows, my elbows as wide as my shoulders. And I'm just working into a feeling of downward facing dog in my shoulders, which is long arms, wide collar, front ribs strong. And then once I've found something like that, which I'm still working towards, I'm gonna do some squat variations with my external rotation. I'm pressing into my hands in order to bend my knees. I'm pressing into my heels to come forward. Oh, that was enough. Hips to my heels. You're doing whatever you want. I'm gonna push for one more set, and then I'm gonna roll onto my back. Mm. I'm gonna hug my knees into my heart and rock a little bit around. I invite you to feel some windshield wiper twists. Remembering to look away from your knees. and then extending out for Shavasana. Every inhale fills you completely. Every exhale empties you entirely.
Find your comfortable seated position. Hands at your heart center. Inhale, hands wide. Sip in a little more air. Exhale, hands together. Your own breath. Thank you. Well, of course, all the traffic has died down. It's completely quiet now. But I wanted to show you just what's going on here. There's this beautiful little bay. And the traffic is this channel right here. There's a lot of boats going through and also this bridge right here. A lot of little tuk-tuks and scooters. There's no really cars on this island. But the tuk-tuks and the scooters are make a lot of noise. Except for right now. Super tranquil. Tranquila, as they say here. All right, you guys. Hope you're doing all right. And um, I hope I see you soon.